Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how to encrypt a file or folder. Okay, we have our file that we want to encrypt. We basically right click on it, go to properties, go to advanced, click on encrypt contents to secure data, click OK, click OK. And now we could do the file and its parent folder. So basically, if it was within a folder, basically everything in that folder that complete folder would have been encrypted. Okay, in this case we'll just do it as a simple file. Okay, we'll click OK. What it will do is now give us this little message. That's been encrypted. Okay, and now there's a little key. Okay, it's your own personal key that you need to keep a backup in case you, shall we say, have to format your computer or you lose your username, etc, etc. And you only have the file and you need to encrypt it. Okay, right now if we click on it, it's readable. Okay. There we go. It's readable. Okay, it's writable like a normal file, but anybody else logging in, okay, using a different username and password would not be able to see what's in the file. Okay. All right, now we're going to talk you through this, how to make a backup of your private key okay alright your certificate and key okay click on backup now click next okay enable certificate privacy export all excellent profit properties okay click next okay create a password for it okay okay click next obviously you'd want a long password and a secure one in this case we're not we're just using a simple one okay where do you want to save it in this instance we'll save it to the desktop and we'll call it encryption you could give it any name it doesn't really matter it's saved as a .pfx personal information exchange which in a minute it will come looking like a certificate okay export was successful and there we go this little thing with the private key certificate in an envelope Okay, if you don't get this message over here and you didn't find the little yellow icon to click on, there is another way to actually get your certificate. It's just basically open up Internet Explorer. Okay, go to Internet Options, click on Content, Certificates, and you'll see basically your certificate over there. It'll be basically your username. Okay, and then you export it. Okay, it's the same window as before. Yes, export the private key as well in this instance. Next. Okay, enable certificate privacy, export all its internal properties. We don't want to delete this key in this instance. Same kind of thing. Give it a password. Okay, click next. Where are we going to save it? Basically, again, to the desktop, but we're going to give it another name, encryption1 or 2. There we go. And that'll save it. Okay. And that is how to encrypt a file and ensure that other people who log on with different usernames to this computer or who don't even log on, who basically just to get access to your hard disk, won't be able to read the contents of a file.